Welcome back, 80s in general. Eh? Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achiever Game Podcast for the week of ah, August 19th. As of recording, of course, I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting digitally across from me, looking as handsome as always, Alex. What you got there, buddy? Hello. Yeah, what you got there? Swiss roll. Yeah, Swiss roll? Like the, mm-hmm. like the Debbie cake thing? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, as in, as in I, Roman Pierce once said, we hungry. He did say that in a one of the worst Fast and Furious movies, <laughs> arguably. Pretty sure that was too fast, too furious. Too. Pretty sure. Yep. Um, Swiss rolls, not, not a big fan. They come in clutch when you need it, though. I want to be very yeah. clear about that. When, when, you, when you have nothing and you're at your friend's house and he likes Swiss rolls a lot and you have nothing else to eat, they mm-hmm. go down very well. Mm-hmm. Um, but in any other situation, I won't eat them. Uh, they remind yes. me of uh, oatmeal cream pies. You ever had those? Mm-hmm. I, know you, I know you have. I don't know why you, I asked. But I, uh, uh, oatmeal cream pies, fantastic. Now, do they, are they so sweet they hurt your teeth? Yes. That should be their slogan because my god when you take a bite especially alex you remember these big packs remember that that omo crew pie is big as your face mm. you got the big packs you know you get the, the regular ones about this big but like the big pack straight mm-hmm. up you could lay that thing on your face it covers your entire face you're blind no see i like oatmeal cream i pies, love those but, it's way but too if big. i had to pick i'd prefer the, the swiss roll really no. big big see, fan of oatmeal cream pies. and see i'm a, and see i'm a big fan of zebra cakes Zebra cakes, not bad, but they're very dry. I feel like really? it's very, yeah, I feel like it's very rare when you get a good zebra cake. Because ma- most of the time you're taking a bite, it's dry. The garbage frosting's falling all over the place. Mm. I see, it's right. weird because there's, there's yeah. a zebra cake. They're like, they had zebra cakes and then there's the zebra roll. Mm. Those, are sh- those are shit. Zebra cakes are the way to go. Now, now, that reminds me of the cupcake Debbie cake. You remember that thing? So mm-hmm. it was like a cupcake chocolate and then you're talking had, about with the little white little yep, squirrels yep. at the top you already knew you already those knew. are horrible those suck but again if you're at a friend's house all they eat is sweets mm-hmm. you can eat that i wouldn't i, I don't think i'd want to eat that it it's not great but again it solves the issue that you need it again if you don't know the friend's house is alex by the way he has all this stuff and i just whenever i have to go over there i just look at his pantry i'm like i guess i'll eat this <laughs> mm-hmm. i guess i'll eat this debbie cake <laughs> uh but we're not a little debbie podcast no no we're we should a game be. we should be yeah we should make it. no we're a video game podcast first off thank you so much for joining us this very not news full week not much i feel like has happened especially if you look throughout but some some stuff happened today which was exciting some things have happened already as of recording as well so we're gonna be talking about all that stuff we're gonna be talking about things like call of duty reveal we're going to talk about Quake coming back. Alex is very excited yes. about that, I heard. But before we get into Alex, every week I ask you one singular mm. question. Every single week I ask you one mm. single question. Mm. What have you been playing? I try, uh, I'm almost done with Death Store. Okay. It's about time. Um, like, I've been busy, okay? You've been sipping I've, on this for a little been, while. Like if uh, yeah. you literally sit down for two hours, you'll beat the game. Oh no, I know for sure. I just like now I have so much other stuff to play. Uh, I try. Um, I tried Hades. It's fun. No. Yeah, I, mean, I'm, I, I don't think it's, I'm. You didn't like no, it. No, I'm not a rogue type or the rogue like no, type yeah, you're person. Not. You're not. But I do enjoy what they're doing with the game. I think it, it is fun if, if, when I'm not getting my ass beat. Mm. Um, gone mode. It's gonna help you. And see, yeah. yeah. I think now you get like does it twenty dis- percent extra? But now it defense. does it dis- now it does it disable achievements? I haven't turned it on. I don't know. Probably not. It doesn't say mm-hmm. it does. It okay. usually says if it doesn't specify. If yeah, if it doesn't specify, then I might do that just so because I want to enjoy the game. I don't use it game. because I'm good at video games, but you can use it if you like. I mean, Let's see what I did there? Just a I mean, I'm not. A, I'm not a tryhard. So. <laughs> I am. <laughs> but no, I it is been- fun. Yeah, no, 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 Alex isn't a fan. It's fine. It's fine. You didn't like Returnal either. I loved Returnal. 
Um, yeah, it's just uh, it's just not your thing. It's fine. Now yeah. I love Hades. I'm addicted to it. Um, I've done five full clears of the game, so I've beaten. Well, it's the game. Not yeah, I haven't really beaten the game yet, but um, I've done full, five full clears, uh, each with different weapons. Addicted, mm-hmm. fantastic. The gameplay loop is phenomenal. The characters phenomenal. The dialogue, although short, is very meaningful. That's what I want to really uh, point at, out at you. You're very <clears throat> rarely talking with them, but when you do, it's almost either meaningful or hilarious. And I love that about yeah. the game. Meaningful or hilarious. And then you have this companion <clears throat> system, romance system I haven't even touched in the game yet. There's hmm. all these upgrades I can get with the weapons that I'm eventually going to do. I still need to farm darkness to get more upgrades. That's, that's how you can permanently upgrade your character. I am, I'm yep. in love with this game. I cannot wait to go back. I, I play a little bit every day. I try a new <laughs> weapon or I'll try a new like aspect or some sort of boon combination I haven't tried before. And I just go and see yep. if I can beat the, the level. I almost spoiled the game. The, the level again. So Yeah. Let me know what y'all think because I have no one to talk about this with and it's very lonely enjoying a game by yourself. So comment <laughs> below, tweet at me. What do you think of Hades? Uh, anything else have you been playing, Alex? Uh, we played the DLC of War for Wakanda. We have. Or War of Wakanda. We are going to make a solo video, <clears throat> I think, of all of our thoughts for War of Wakanda, but very quickly. Alex, what do you think? What did you think? Yeah, you know Who's... what? I want, I want... If someone has played Avengers, did they come back for this? Yes. I think so, too. I think if you yes. have Avengers, you definitely yes. should come back. If yep. anything has, anything has, you looked at Avengers and went, I don't like that. No. You're not no, going to like this. Like for, for achievers who are like me, you played Avengers and you're like, I'm not coming back to this ever again until DLC comes out. I played the World of Wakanda. It was fun. I'm done. Now, Alex, give or take, hmm. what, we played for three and a half hours and beat it in one city? Four, about four. About four hours? Yeah. We played yeah. about four hours. That's with like a mini break, so it probably really is about three and a half. Three, if you're like gaming, we we aren't. We we're we're not. Super we're just strong. we're chilling. Yeah, we're chilling. We're having fun. Yeah. I played Black Panther. He's mm-hmm. a dope character. Really like mm-hmm. him. Very. I didn't cool. play him long though because I wanted to play Cap. When I played, yeah. the, I wanted to play the guy I already had built up. So mm-hmm. I played See, a I'm little a Thor bit. Man. As, yeah, yeah. We we played as that. It, I played Black Panther when I. When I could when to try him out, mm-hmm. and like in that beginning level, and then level after that. But after that, I was like, eh, it's time to go back to Cap. I got the end game suit. He looks so sick. <laughs> oh, so good. But again, you have seen anything about Avengers, and you went, that doesn't look good. It, this doesn't change anything about the game. It's still yeah. the exact same thing. It just now has <clears> Black <throat> Panther in it. Wakanda, however, looks beautiful. Yes. It's especially probably the compared, best place we've been to. Yes. Especially when you compare it to. The other locations in the game, this place is by miles way more visually stimulating, and also um, it has. Uh, I I don't usually point this out, but like the population of like the NPCs, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, there's actually a lot of NPCs now. Yeah, I'm sure there's some. It's like, a more. It was, it was a lot more alive. Yeah, yeah, it felt like I was in a bustling little palace with people walking around. Those mm-hmm. guards, every time you walk mm-hmm. them, you hear like the little like like. Like, a, I don't think I can get it on the mic, but, like, they hit the staff on the ground and they come into attention. Mm-hmm. So that was really cool, too. There's a little, little things throughout the game. But is it improving on anything? No. It's just more of the no. same. It's just more. Yep. I think that's all I've played. I need to play so many games. 12 minutes. Mm-hmm. I need to go. That's yes. on Game Pass. We'll cover that later. I need to play Boyfriend Dungeon still. So much. But those are the two I'm coming. I need to beat all this before next Tuesday because that's when Destiny's new season starts. And I, mm. you know when that starts, I'm uh, right right back into the grind. So I got to... Yes, you are. Uh, yep. I got I to gotta do a lot more in Hades and I got to do a lot more in 12 Minutes. Alex, is that what you've been playing? Just about, yeah. Then I want to talk about Call of Duty. But before we talk about Call of Duty, we have a complicated story here, Jeeves. Now, mm. Activision Blizzard have had so many issues these past weeks. We covered it on this very show. Um, of course, they've been sued by California's Department of Fair Housing and Employment, suggesting they have some sort of frat boy culture or some sort of culture that promotes sexual um, uh, harassment. So, it's strange cover- covering those stories <laughs> and they immediately doing like, did you hear about the new Call of Duty, though? So, I wanted to cover first... The stories we've been covering, 
bringing it up again. And then as a reminder, as always, in every single episode, Alex takes his time out of not only hosting with me, he puts time codes below. So if you would rather not hear anything about Call of Duty and you feel like this is supporting them in some way, we would like you to, if you'd like, use the option of the time codes below and skip ahead. But we're going to cover the full breakdown of what they gave out today, and we'll give our thoughts on the game. How does that sound good, Alex? Sounds good. Let's get into this then. Alex. Hmm. Vanguard finally released. I didn't think that was going to actually be the name of the game because this has been leaked for a long time. It was called Call of Duty Vanguard. And we, I think everyone thought that was the code name, but nope, it's mm. the name of the game. I don't hate it. I kind of like it, honestly. No, yeah. Uh, so we're getting Vanguard on uh, November 5th. There was a huge reveal trailer. We have a reacts up as of recording. So you can go check that out as well if you want to watch <laughs> along with us. Uh, it wasn't much, if I'm being real. It just kind of tells you about the settings, which gets me kind of excited. Um, and then they have a huge like onslaught of things like, hey, look at this, look at this. They, there was a big tweet thread that they did, so I'm going to be reading some information from that as well as a mixture of things I've, I've seen. So there's going to be a new Warzone map. They uh, promoted their new anti-cheat software, which I guess is getting really popular because Destiny did the exact same thing. They also, it's kind of, so it's kind of uh, weird that they both did it. So, um, And there's mm-hmm. going to be 20 maps available at launch, so 16 core multiplayer maps. And then what's called Champion Hill Maps. Now, Alex, if you could do me a favor, hmm. you look up what a Champion Hill is. So apparently it's a new mode. Can you just get me details on that mode, please? Um, I forgot to add that. Apologies, Achievers, for the mix-up. And to add that right before recording. Multiplayer Champion. Go ahead. Oh, you already got it. No, no, no. If you already got it, go, please. I thought it'd take you much longer. You're so fast. According to the leaked details, Champion Hill gameplay combines a 3v3 gunfight with more traditional battle royal elements where eight teams fight to be the last group standing. So maybe kind of like a King of the Hill thing. Mm. So you gotta gotta be the last one. But you said gun game in the beginning of there? 3v3 gun fight with more traditional battle royale elements. So it's it's a small battle royale. It's it's like a small battle royale type thing because it says eight teams. It sounds like an Apex-like mode. Yeah. Because it says trios. It's maybe a smaller map. Yep. Yeah, because it's eight teams. So it's just a small royale. Hmm. They're going to give out more multiplayer details. You know, Call of Duty always unveils their game and they're like, and now stay tuned for multiplayer. Open beta Mm -hmm. will be at some point. We don't know when any beta is happening. All we know is there's a beta, duh, but PlayStation's getting betas first. The way to get the beta earliest is, of course, to pre-order. You can get that through any retailer or the actual in-game stores. And then you can... Uh, wait for the open beta if you'd prefer that and of course if you are on PlayStation you get it first <clears throat> and then they tease zombies but like they didn't say anything about it mm-hmm. um, and then they're, they pimped out like the new characters and things like that I don't feel like that's necessary so I did not cover any of that if you'd like to get even more details you can head over to either Twitter or the, some blog posts that's everything I thought was newsworthy about this Call of Duty. So not much, Alex, but we did get details. We got the, of course, there's going to be a new war zone. Of course, there's going to be a new map. So nothing crazy, but new COD. Are you excited? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely play it. Yeah, um, I, I want to, I want to kind of echo literally what you what you did at, as soon as I asked you. you went. Eh, yeah like like that was like like that's when i go yeah yeah, yeah. like yeah. this is just another year of call of duty just, it kind of yeah. looks like the exact same thing i've been playing for I, six plus years now so I'll i will try I it want, again i guess it's been way more than six years I know. um i want to see what would happen if they would take a break one year of, of call it of never duty. will happen but i know it wouldn't well, i just would like unique, to see that so the unique situation is although we always say like they're doing annual releases they're still doing regular dev cycles so it's not like madden because they're you know they have the three studios yeah, i know i mean there's three yeah, there's three devs so yeah so I, I understand what you mean though like it would be kind of nice if they kind of relaxed a little for a year and we got to see the like pumped call of duty coming into this mm-hmm. but i just i feel like since that- uh, oh god i don't even know which one i just haven't been in tr- like hooked on a call of duty in a long time modern warfare we got pretty hooked i feel like yeah i mean my yeah modern warfare but before- i love the campaign and then we played multiplayer a good bit cold war yeah. was nah. the, really before modern much. warfare the last time i really got hooked on on call of duty 
was pro- Black Ops 2 slash Modern Warfare 3 time. And yeah. all the other ones, I'd play the story, and then I'm done. Yeah, I agree. I, I echo everything. And we, I don't, we don't really get into Warzone either, because... I we played for a little bit, but I'm just like, meh. I don't... A Call of Duty has... And, it, you know, I, I'm going to sound like that guy, but, like, Call of Duty has a camping problem. And oh it's never God. really been resolved. Like, in Warzone... This is why I like Apex. Although, again, Apex, you're going to win if you sit somewhere and snipe at people and you can make your <laughs> shots. I'm not saying yeah. Apex is like superior, it's better, though. but it is better than Call of Duty. The amount of times I've died from someone sitting mounted on a like countertop waiting for the door to open is innumerable and it's just annoying it's not fun so that's been my main issue with warzone where like really if you go to a top of a building and sit there you're probably gonna win the game if not get really close so Mm -hmm. that's always been my my issue i i almost wish i was into warzone because it seems like something i would like (laughs) you know it's kind of weird to say that but it feels like something i should like but it's just something i'm like i just don't I just don't care about this video game. <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I mean? Alex, that's, uh, that's all hmm. my thoughts. Do you have anything to leave with? Oh, we did not answer a question in our review trailer, so I want to ask it to you right now. We have an FPS off this holiday season again. Um, this reminds okay. me of when Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2 both tried to kill Call of Duty in that year, and um, I'm mm-hmm. blanking on something else. Something else launched that year. Uh, but we're getting that kind of similar thing this year. Battlefield uh, uh, 2042. 2042. We're getting Vanguard and Halo Infinite. Mm-hmm. It's a lame question to ask, but what are you, what are you picking? I know it's Halo, but... It's Honestly, Halo, right? I'm going with Halo, and then depending how Battlefield is, I might go towards Battlefield, because because it's been so long since we've had a good Battlefield. Yeah, Mo- I, I, Modern Battlefield. Yeah, so I want to lead with that, too, like... I'm not saying I'll probably like Battlefield more. I probably won't, again, because there's not a single player, which is super lame. And second, uh, I'm just more excited because I haven't seen a Battlefield in a while, I feel like. Battlefield mm-hmm. 5 was super lame, too, so it just yep. didn't feel right when I was playing it. It's just kind of... I didn't like, even finish the stories. I finished Battlefield 1's stories, but I, not 5's. I, li- five I so love Battlefield like, 1's story, especially with the... F- yeah. I think he was a fighter player, the guy that, like... Oh lies yeah, lies to you. Oh, such a good story. Yeah. But well, yeah. When I played Battlefield Five, and you're like that secret agent person skiing, I was like, the fuck I didn't care is for this. Yeah, yeah. And then, <laughs> they, this? then they made um, like the map like kind of like open world ish. I was like, oh, why? Yeah, you don't need to do this. Why? Like you like, like make it just more linear. It's okay. Linear video game. You don't have to make it open world. Like yeah, you have to the... nail it if you're gonna do that. And yeah, you know, you're just not going. It's to too much. Don't try. Don't try. Don't try. This caused a stir, Alex. We're going to move on. Hmm. This caused a stir. I want, you, I want you to get your opinion on this. So, okay. We have some bad news getting news for people who like Outriders out there. Some Outriders mm. achievers. I know you're out there. Alex was one of them. He loved Outriders. According to the developers' investors' website, People Can Fly explained how their agreement with Square Enix works, and we got a peek behind the curtain on how this kind of deal went. So for the uh, People Can Fly, which, of course, is the developer of the game, to receive any royalties the games, uh, in the game's first quarter, which ended August 16th, um, th- <clears throat> it had to exceed total cost of production, including QA, distribution, and all the promotional materials for the game. And they said they have not c- received any money. So you can kind of piece together like, oh, that means they didn't make enough money to earn the cost of the game, which... If you would have asked me that, I would have guessed as well. But uh, the the uh, oh Jesus, Wojcicki Wo- Wojcicki also uh, brought up the fact that the main reason behind maybe the profitability was so low is the fact that they brought it onto Game Pass. Now this it was like punching a beehive on Twitter, Alex. Everyone's mm-hmm. coming out with. Oh, we know Game Pass it doesn't make people money. All this stuff, like, right? So, I'm not really interested in that conversation because we will never know how much money people make on Game Pass. It's just we'll never know. It's so I, I don't feel like there's any reason to talk about it. What yeah. I want to ask you, Alex, is first, maybe it's just me, but wasn't it obvious this game wasn't going to fully succeed? And second, do you think Game Pass is a model that? 
can exist long term for Microsoft if the problem continues to see if this issue is brought up in this manner. So yes to the first question. Yeah. And then the, the, for the second question, no, because I feel like this is the only game that we've heard of this happening to it. Mm, yes, I, I can't recall a different scenario where someone went on their investor and went, the reason it could be Game Pass. And again, this is his job, to make it sound good when they lose money. So I mean, the, they, yeah, how, so how many games are on Game Pass? This is what he's supposed to do. So, I, so I, again, we say it every time. We bring up Game Pass. It's not profitable, period. Mm -hmm. But I don't care. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Second, what what do you th what do you think of the ramifications of stuff like this? Now, when we bring up a, a big market like Microsoft, like a big market mover is what they're called. You know, just giant corporation coming in saying, "Hey, we're going to make a streaming service." that it's going to be a bunch of games on it. It's going to be the Netflix for games. You pay like $10 a month and you get all these games long term. How do you think that affects the gaming industry as a whole? Do you think we'll see smaller games over time? Do you think they're just going to be making so much money? Cause this is also bringing up last week, Sean Layden's uh, point out, point out when he was uh, getting in that interview, uh, he I don't think he really meant this. Sean Lane is a brilliant man. He's not going to say this and really mean it, but he said they wouldn't have to have like 500 million subscribers on game pass to make the games profitable. He was of course being hyperbolic. He doesn't really mean that, but do you think this is a, some sort of motto that will affect the industry negatively overall? It's a hard question and I'm not expecting a clear answer, Alex, just to be sure. I, assume I, do, I don't have an answer for this. Honestly, I feel like it all depends on the consumer. Really? Also, I, I mean, the first thing I, yeah. I I would like to bring up is usually when they get asked this question, they say, "Well, generally, even if something is on Game Pass, they still make more money. Like they 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 see an increase in sales. Game Pass almost doesn't matter because they'll see an yeah. increase in sales regardless." Now. Again, this is all anecdotal. It's not like they're told. We're told what say like how much they sold. So it's kind of irrelevant. But I just think there's a great look through in this kind of talk we're having here. Like somewhere in there is where the future will be headed for the games industry as a whole. Because it gets really complicated when we're talking like Game Pass has hundred plus games, ten bucks a month. How do you even? give cuts to certain games how does that work day one releases do you pay to make them break even so it's just gravy i again outriders I, mm -hmm. went on game pass because it was dying it was it was it was a doa like i think square mm -hmm. enix was just looking for an excuse to drop the game somewhere because it was clear yeah. it wasn't going to make a lot of money. I mean, look at the game, Jesus. Well, I, that's what I was thinking. Like, I think it all depends on the consumer because on like on the pro on the popularity of the game. Mm -hmm. So, for example, that's like Halo is going to be on Game Pass. Yeah, okay, it it's a big high, is... it's a bigger IP than what this would be. So I feel like it's going to get more fan base. Which meaning, let's say multiplayer, they they you know people start spending more money on multiplayer, or whatever they do for season passes. That's what's going to create the revenue mm. to break even for these games instead of being the, the for it's like, 60 bucks of the, yeah. you know, buy the game. That's interesting. I, I didn't think about it that way. I think it, it was smart to bring Halo up because they're not only spending hundreds of millions of dollars funding this game. I mean, God knows how much money they've spent at this point because especially they had to hire more people to come so fix many the games, game after yeah. that too. Not only are they going to have to eat that cost but they're not even going to be able to see how much it's like, how do you even know how much halo makes? Do you, do you count the amount of game pass people you have? Do you count the game pass subscribers for that month? I mean, I, I assume this it is when it gets be weird. How do you even I, calculate like if said, it did well? I mean, like I, like I said, I assume it has to do with the amount of people that have the game pass that log into that 
and then uh, like let's say if they create they a season pass, pass then... yeah the battle pass or whatever and then they pay yeah. for that okay okay so like and let's say you... i jump in and i don't want to buy the battle pass i mean they i mean they counted my like i jumped in but i didn't spend any money yeah so it all depends and I've heard they have crazy heat maps at Microsoft. Like, and if uh, just in case uh, the achievers you don't know, heat mapping basically tells them what you do, and mm-hmm. they have apparently like to the T what like if they want to look something up, they can look like p- point by oh, yeah. point by point what you do. So maybe oh, they've had that for years. Yeah, maybe they're heat mapping something, and that tells them like, hey, yeah, so yeah. X amount of players. Logged in at this time, made it this much revenue, and we noticed mm-hmm. an uptick and gave it. That's just an interesting conversation because I can't imagine, like, imagine being an accountant and saying, "Hey, how much did Halo make?" Well, we sold a million units, but like, Game Pass exists, so I guess we count half of that. Half of them played. You would have to count the amount of people that log in and and play pay, and, and make and then and, and then, then put money into that game and then buy a battle pass. Buy yeah. The armors by the AI people in the game. By yeah, like for XYZ. example, like Outriders. I mean, what can you buy in that game? There's yeah, no that was their. Pass. That was their. Yeah, that was their selling point. That there was nothing in the game. Yeah, you can't buy anything. So, like, how are they gonna make their revenue back? That's why they haven't been able to make anything. That was one of the weirdest marketing things I've ever seen. I don't know if you remember Alex, but they were marketing that it wasn't a games as a service. But in every sense of the word, they were a games as a service, except they won't give you free content. Yeah, so like how they're gonna make like the, the money. skill trees, the like. So it was just ever is so weird. And I and uh, oh, um, I didn't cover the good news, achievers. I got so sidetracked. Uh, this is a great conversation. Thank you, Alex. Um, the good news to the bad news is they announced that they are working on some. A new DLC called The Horizon, I believe it was called. Uh, so you got to pay for it. They're sticking. I mean, you have to, right? There's no way. Maybe, maybe it was going with Game Pass. They, there's no so way. Yeah, I mean, there's no way they can they can just give you free DLC. I mean, it's not. It's like they can't. They already. They literally don't know how many copies they sold, and I haven't heard any royalties. I mean, like at this point, <laughs> that's surprising too. And I'm surprised he was able to be that specific. Usually they have to kind of coattail around things, but he straight up was like, we didn't receive any money, so that means they didn't make any money. <laughs> like, like, I was so I was shocked that he was able to say that. I'm surprised he didn't have to sign in certain NDAs. Like I'm, but- surprised it's, I'm surprised this is more alive than Anthem was. That's a good point. Like, Anthem it didn't, worked better didn't than Anthem. Anthem yeah, but I mean, didn't Anthem make money? <laughs> Surprisingly? I don't, think so. I don't think so. Did it? No. I, I mean, so. it wasn't on Game Pass, so you had to buy the game. Yeah, I doubt it made money. I don't think it did. I think it would, like made like almost no money. I don't remember. It was so. I mean, uh, God, Anthem is such a sore subject with a lot of people. <laughs> well, we'll we'll come back to this, Alex. There's a great there's a great conversation in here, and and I think we actually broke ground on a couple good things. And I'll be curious, what do you guys think? I I want to go to the achievers of this. We have a lot. We have a very smart community. I, what do you think? is a successful game pass game let's ask that question how does that work is it people play it word of mouth and then it leaves game pass and then people buy it like what do you what is that what is what do you guys think let's know it, of course you can do that with twitter patreon easy achievers tweet at us anything and we'll cover it in the next show anthem in its launch month made 100 million overall now the question is, how bad was their budgeting? <laughs> because if they made a hundred million dollars, that could have it said, it, this is, uh, broke it's, even. This is a uh, hundred million in digital revenue. Um, mm. Let's see, digital since the launch of February twenty second. Exactly. So it was like in a, in the month. It's it, like in that in that uh month release. It said it made in digital revenue it made a hundred million. Well, they definitely broke even, unless they are terrible at making video games. I worried it's so bad at that game. Apparently, they had to like scrap half the game like 16 months before launch and remake it what a horror show that game was mm-hmm. pokemon unite alex did you hear about this yes so I we did. had we had a pokemon presents we told you last week if you wanted to catch it you could have watched it it was um, a whole thing me and alex aren't huge pokemon people although i love pokemon alex is very very much in like i guess you could say a casual pokemon person would you, would you yeah. say so alex yeah like i really like it but like I, yeah. I just I don't keep up with it. Like I've ha- I haven't played the new game. Like I want to, I just haven't had the chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Pokemon Unite, of course, the new MOBA that 
uh, that has come out for the Switch about two months ago is coming to mobile. This was, uh, again, shown off in that Pokemon Presents. It is a free-to-game, uh, free-to-play game. And it is definitely a mixed game. So if you don't know what a MOBA is, this is a League of Legends. This is your Dotas. These are three lanes and a jungle Smite. atmosphere. Yes, yeah, Smites. So you have three lanes, top, mid, bottom. You go and you fight off against each character. And then there's a jungle, meaning the spaces in between your lanes. And you go and fight Pokemon to level up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You go on and so forth. And it's gotten very popular. They're bringing it to mobile. They did a weird thing where it's like if you... If like two million people sign up, you get a Pikachu or something. It was super weird. I actually kind of want to try it. Well, it hits on Switch, but I want to bring. I want. I wish they would bring it to Xbox. God, because I had Pokemon I, Xbox. What's wrong? I I know. I know. I know. I mean, I downloaded it because I I'm, I really like MOBAs, so I want to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm gonna download it. Alex, please remind me uh, when we stop recording to and download this because I do want to okay. try it. But it has had some mixed reactions to mm. the pay to win feature features apparently there is pay to wins so the way you pay to win is there's these items you can buy and you can i guess upgrade them quicker with money so you can get an item that's like level max like five i guess and that makes you like a lot better at the beginning um so uh, in, is that so, permanent or so is like- so in so in terms of league of legends alex yeah. Think of um, think of like the the boots that make us faster in that game. Yeah. Think of me with real money being able to buy the boots, and that is a permanent upgrade I always have. Whoa! Pay to win, my friend. <laughs> Pay to win. So that's I'm basically get the same. Destroyed then. Yes. Yes. Now, what I've heard this is only anecdotal, so I, I'm not pretending like it's the Bible or anything, but mm. it's okay and casual. But as soon as you go any higher than that casual ceiling, pay to win hits. And everyone's just going nuts and taking the game way too seriously with these Pokemon people smacking each other around. Uh, and they also announced Mamoswine and Sylveon is being added to the game as well. Hmm. Sylveon, Mamoswine. Quite the names. I like Sylveon, though. Is Mamoswine like a like a pig and a mammoth put together yeah it is good job is it really yes yeah look it up oh okay yeah <laughs> you weren't expecting to get that right no. you're like what yeah it's exactly when you look it up you'll see the snout of a pig and it's got like little mammoth tusks yeah it definitely is um and then right after that they showcase some diamond and pearl stuff it's diamond and pearl but i didn't really see anything i i saw that you can let your pokemon follow you again which is just so fucking adorable. Um, mm-hmm. But Diamond of Pearl, if you played it before, I like. Did you have you seen the Diamond of Pearl art style, Alex? This is contentious. I, I want to get your opinion. Have you seen the art style for Diamond of Pearl? The new one? Yes. The well, the remake, but yeah. Yes. Do you like it? Sure. Okay. Yeah. You know, strong feelings. I. This is really it's like some people love it. Some people like hate it. I, I don't care. If I'm being honest, I saw it. Yeah. And I was like, "Yeah, this looks like a Nintendo thing." I mean, yeah. I mean, I played, I I beat Diamonds, and I mean, I'm gonna play it again. So, yeah, I'm gonna play it again as well. Pokemon Legends was then showcased, and surprisingly, we were given a date: June, sorry, January 28th is the date of this Breath of the Wild like treatment of the Pokemon franchises. They showcased a couple things, like, uh, very much showing. Very clearly, this is the Breath of the Wild of Pokemon. There was a scene with him jumping off a cliff and then him rising back up with a bird Pokemon flying away. There was a, a thing where All he right. jumped on a um, one of the new Pokemon from that region. It looks like a big deer. I think it's called Weird Ear, yeah. which is hilarious. I don't know why, but like, but me saying Weird Ear sounds really funny. <laughs> weird Ear. <laughs> weird Ear. <laughs> weird Ear. <laughs> Sound like you're about to get on your John Deere and go get a Weird Ear. <laughs> Weird. Anyways, it showed against him like uh, writing this thing, so it was very clearly like, all right, I get it. It's Breath Weird of the Air. Wild. <laughs> Weird <Air. laughs> but it was one of those things where it's like, I get it. It's it's Breath of the Wild. Like, relax. Um, I'm gonna they be also gliding showed... in Apex. I'm just gonna say, Weird, Weird. Air. <laughs> um, <laughs> you side checking me? Um, <laughs> they showcased a new way of turns 
in this game. So instead of the classic, you go, I go, you go, I go, it takes your speed and agility into um, account. account. Thank you. And it's similarly to how the turnstiles work in like a Final Fantasy game, honestly. Like if you remember Final Fantasy X, if you cast haste on somebody, they're going to go two turns now, two times before the next person out, you know, kind of like that. So mm. I, I'm assuming if you cast agility or some sort of movement based thing, you'll now go twice. Um, there was styles added to the game. This There might have been more information on this since recording and I didn't see it. But as far as I understand, this is like the, an, maybe a new power up. There's like power style, agile style. I guess this are ways of like powering up and, and like getting supercharged for the fights, but cool. I liked the. Yep. I, I'm I'm okay with Pokemon. Like I'm it, I'm I'm interested in play this game, but I'm not like oh my god Pokemon. So yeah, I liked that Cyndaquil is coming back. He's one of my favorite starters. Yes, and he's adorable, and he t- it turns into a giant bear that's on fire. I can get into that. Second, if and this is a big if, if they pull this off. This could be the best Pokemon game ever. Big if, though. Big if. I am very skeptical. I hope this game looks good. I don't think it's going to run great, Alex. I, don't I think, think it's, it's going to think it's great. gonna. I think it's going to look good, but I think the RPG mechanic, I have a bad feeling it's going to be bad. Really? Yeah. I am the opposite. I think the gameplay will be fine, as always. Okay. And the actual experience of playing the video game, like running, maybe when you're flying, is gonna okay. look rough on the Switch, man. It's gonna look rough. Mm-hmm. We're talking about like o- like older than this PS4. Now, if they if they're able to finagle it and they it impress me, I'll tell you if it looks good or not. But I'm just worried that it's not gonna look great, and maybe it doesn't have to. I don't. Maybe it's, you know... Hey, people will Pokemon people enjoy their 720s or 900s on their handheld Switch. As long as the game is good, dude, I, I no one's going to care. And I, I probably won't either. Maybe, like if, as long as the game's good. Like, if I'm playing it and I'm like, this is good, I'm not going to care if it's 4K or whatever. Happy news. Splitgate, Alex. Mm. We played this. Mm. Yes, we did. Happy yes game. Be- <laughs> we'll talk about that after this. Splitgate <laughs> to remain in open beta indefinitely uh this is via developer 1047 games they have extended their beta as they work to try and improve the server capacity um uh, split gate is of course the game that developers won't stop talking about is a mix between uh portal and halo they won't let you forget that it's a mix between portal and halo what game is it alex it's a mix between portal and halo that's right portal and halo oh cool. cool, i got it right is delaying their final release of the game. Originally, it was set for August, and they had to delay it. Then it was set for Sunday, and now they're just like, we're not releasing the game anymore. <laughs> like, but they are continuing to help with the server maintenance. They're just going to stay in open beta while they work out the kinks and things like that. They said, um, for reference, um, this is kind of a Among Us situation, although not as crazy as Among Us. This is a similar situation where they said overnight 1047 split gate has seen more than 10 million downloads in under 30 days. Damn. So this is one of those kind of overnight successes where it's like, we weren't talking about Splitgate, and then in about a month's time, they've downloaded 10 million copies. Now, this is a free-to-play game, so uh, they didn't make any money in the first part of it, but hey, Mm -hmm. that's what cosmetics are for. Now, what was your experience playing Splitgate, Alex? I think my experience was very similar to yours. Please go first. It was very fun. <laughs> Way too easy, man. I made my very first match. Very first one. I was I died maybe three, four times and I was like, oh, okay, I'm getting used to it. Okay. And now and then I started to figure out the guns. And then I realized that the one gun that I was using, I kept tapping the, the trigger. I, I could just hold it and it was on it was an automatic gun. I didn't I didn't really realize. <laughs> so as soon as I held it, I put a portal across the map, put a portal next to me. So just started wrecking people. I did. I went twenty six and four afterwards. It was- yeah. So really quickly, do you think mm-hmm. we fought real people? I want to say yes. I want to say yes as well. I the friend I was playing with at the time that I usually played Destiny with, he mm-hmm. said, "There's no way these are real people," and he seemed confident. And I was like, "Really? This doesn't. They don't seem." Like, I can tell in Fortnite when it's not a real person. 
these were it's, performing now, like real people now although now, i could be wrong now do you think these the people that were playing if there are people are people that are not as good at first person shooters versus the people who so, run their call of duties run their apexes and yeah things so like the, that. so the issue is it's not issue but the thing i would bring up is this is a free-to-play mm-hmm. game mm-hmm that means a 10-year-old can download the game with no yep. oversight at all. Yep. So that Literally, means a 10-year-old can pick a controller up if, as long as they know, understand. It. As long as they understand the store marketplace, they can go over there and hit split gate and download the game because exa- it is free. It will not charge them a single penny. So that means mm-hmm. there's no barriers to this game. So I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that we fought just a bunch of new people that... Alex, how long have we been playing Halo? 10 years at this point, maybe? more like yeah so we are veterans walking in and some of these people might be their first first person shooters and we're like target acquired <laughs> like, <laughs> this is, this is. so i think we were probably sweating a little little bit i know i was i went i dropped I I was. bro i dropped a 25 kill streak in one of the games yeah. 20 Five. I'm not fucking with anyone here. Mm-hmm. I saved the screenshots. If you don't believe me, go to my Xbox EVM 9000. You can see my captures. 25 kill streak, and I, I think, think I died. 20. I don't think I died a single time that match. I, I dude, I was doing things where I was running, and I was like, oh, they're behind me. Boop, portal. Shoot a portal there. Go into that portal. Pop up behind them. Shoot them. Go back in. Turn the portal <laughs> off. Run away. Like I was fucking schooling these kids, dude. So again, I, I think I, I wouldn't be shocked if they're real people, mm-hmm. but I also wouldn't be shocked if the deck was stacked against them at <laughs> the start. And like again, we've been playing this for a long time, and I'm not saying yeah. like I played a lot of it. There were some matches that I had to try. There were some matches yeah. where I was like, holy shit! Like, especially- and it also depends on the map too, because the first the first map that I played was it was fine, and then the second yeah, one I played some was maps just that wrecked. suck. There's a lot of maps yeah. that are really good. Some maps, real bad. Real yeah. bad. Real bad. Not good at all. I did yeah. like Shoddy Snipers. Mm-hmm. Always love me some Team SWAT. Period. Yep. Always. Yep. yep. And the... um, What was the... We had a... There was a match type I liked, and I don't remember what it was called. Oh, it was just like King of the Hill. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was just King of the Hill. It was really fun, too. That was one of the ones where I was like, this isn't fair <laughs> like to them. Like, this just isn't fair to them. I'm just destroying these mm-hmm. kids. They're lucky that I don't throw grenades. Uh, they, there aren't grenades, unfortunately, um, yeah. which kind of suck, but I, I, can, mean, I guess I get it. Throw grenades through the portal. I wish. That'd be dope. Stinky. I mean, you could shoot a rocket through the portal. Yeah, yeah. you could. Yeah. I love shooting through the portal. I, I would, yeah. uh, in shoddy snipers, like a portal on the very top in that like beach map, and I'm just down there like, bam, bam. Mm-hmm. Reckon these Some, somebody's over here it's like what the fuck is <laughs> I, I bet it gets annoying after a while yeah I bet Xbox Series X getting a new 4K dashboard achievers say it with me it's about time yep not much else I was think, given uh, they're gonna I think be I testing I got it already too they're te- yep so they're uh, thank you Alex they're testing this feature with the uh, early access people um so and they also were pointing out like one of the major reasons is hey, um, uh, text is like kind of blurry for some people, so this will kind of help them get a little sharper for people. Yes. And then they said there's a night mode again. I'm very confused on what this is. What I, is night dude, mode? I don't. We covered know. this on a show. Maybe we didn't actually cover it on a show, but we, I'm gonna go over here. Hold, I on, hold on. I got it right here. Microsoft. This is via the Verge. So thank you, Tom Warren. I'm always reading about you, Tom Warren. Thank you. Microsoft is working on a new night mode for Xbox console. Uh, not important. Night mode has a lot of customizations, including different dimming levels and an optional blue light filter. Microsoft is also allowing Xbox owners to dim the LED brightness on their controllers in this night mode and dim the Xbox power button light or turn it off. You can also set an Xbox to switch to the system dark mode and disable HDR when the night mode is enabled. Um, you can set the night mode on a set schedule or a manual one or an automatic one that will set at sunset or disable it at sunrise. And it's being, currently being tested with Xbox insiders. Okay. That mm-hmm. is what I thought, although the, a lot of those features I did not think of. I did not think of the blue screen, and I did not think mm-hmm. they'd let you turn off the Xbox power button altogether. 
I which, don't want that. <laughs> it'd be confusing. I'm so yeah. used to the light being on. Exactly. And I feel like an old man. Like I feel like an old mm. man. Like no, we can't yep. have the light off. It tells me it's on. <laughs> like that's such exactly. a stupid thing. But uh, so yeah, the night mode is still coming. Uh, I will try it out when it becomes uh, to me. I am on the third ring. Alex is on the. You're technically on like zero, right? Because you're skip ahead, or are you alpha? I'm at the very top one. So you're on so skip alpha. ahead or alpha? Because there's the skip ahead where you're getting like the freshest things that's I, gonna I, wreck your console. They must, they must have added. They must have added skip ahead afterwards because I, I, I was alpha was the very toppest one that I could see. So I'd have to check. I could be mixing things up too. I'm not gonna pretend like I remember, I don't know. but I'm pretty sure there was alpha and then there was skip mm-hmm. ahead, which was like. We're giving you the testy of test kits. Like, this is <laughs> not anywhere near done. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, look that up. But, yeah, 4K dashboard. That's very exciting for us. Um, PlayStation already has a 4K dashboard, so. Yeah. Don't know what's taking them so long. Uh, they gave a 4K dash uh, store, uh, if you remember that, Alex. Um, yeah. So, weird they didn't just do it all. But, hey. I don't know. I mean, I first, honestly, I at first I didn't notice. Uh, really, but quickly, then I, had, um, Alex, hmm? uh, you might need to take a seat. Okay. Okay. You sitting? Are you ready? I think. So. I think so. Okay. Talk to me. Quake is coming out for Xbox, and it is um coming out for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, and Switch. It's getting a 4K up res, widescreen resolution support, enhanced models, new lighting, anti-aliasing, and a DOF. I don't remember what that, that means. Original soundtrack, includes the original expansions, and a new one by Machine Games, local and online multiplayer. And on top of this, Quake 2 and Quake 3 are all coming to Game Pass. But, Boy, you know you better play some Quake Three arenas but, with me. But unfortunately, two and three are only for PC. Play Quake Three, you, honestly. Quake Two and Three, you literally don't even need like high specs. Yeah, you can literally run on that old laptop of yours. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just come play. <laughs> Scale of one to ten, Alex. When you saw this, how excited were you? When I saw this, I was like. Alex is eating today. He is feasting. He's like, I've got all three quakes now. Like, like you are like happy, dude. Like, tell me. No, no, no. I'm hoping. Don't know if they added it. Is there any achievements? Oh, it has to be, right? Like, right, they, they're thinking, not re-releasing right? the game and not putting achievements on it, right? I, I, I'm, I'm, because if there's some achievements, man, there's definitely achievements for this game. Yeah, yeah, now, there is, because there was, uh, I saw the trophy list went live. Now, okay. I will read you some achievements. You give me your thoughts. So now, I can't, I'm so excited. Like, honestly, it's been so long since I played Quake 1, but Quake 3 Arena is probably the, the most I've, like, I have played that, like, nonstop. Like, I, that was, like, I played that probably like pre halo and stuff like that i i just always played it and then um just getting i mean it's pc uh but i mean i'm just hoping that they um i mean i think what was it was it quake one is on console right yes quake one quake one's a console okay two and and three are on pc two and three i mean that's still fun i mean i'm glad that's actually Gives it opportunity to uh, maybe one day quick champions to be on console. Maybe, because man, I I love me some quick. Alex, hmm. Now achievers, we are achiever horse achievement. Mm-hmm. We love our achievements. So, mm-hmm. uh, complete quake episode one through four. Couple, you know, oh, that's easy. a bunch. There's a bunch of easy. achievements for that. Yep. Um, kill shoe, but. Oh my god, that looks like a slur. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Oh my god. You trying to get me canceled, Alex? Jesus Christ, look at this thing. Nope. Complete Scourge of Armageddon, episode one and two. That was written on a... I can't believe they wrote that out. 
<laughs> Go look at the achievement list if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. It's like the sixth one. You'll see it as soon as you see it. You'll be like, yeah, maybe don't try and pronounce that on a on a on a online uh, internet show. Maybe not. Uh, find secret exits. A bunch of find <laughs> secret exits. This looks like an easy a thousand. Find the will of wishes. Find a secret message. Kill a monster with another monster's attack. Oh, and then we get into online. Okay, this probably is hard. Yeah. Complete year. Episode four, mission six, maybe? The pain Whoa. Is on okay, Nightmare. yeah, this is not an easy thousand. Complete E4, Ep- M6, pain maze on Nightmare without taking it's, damage. I think that's episode four, mission six. Oh, got you. Yep, yep, thank you. Yeah, and then okay, yeah, this, this looks... On Nightmare. My Nightmare is probably pretty fucking hard. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> not an easy, although you can get Whoa. a lot of the achievements. Look, hey, I'm what? so glad. <gasps> I'm so glad that we... Yeah. Achievers, we don't talk about this enough. But they've don't. done the unholiest of unholy sins, Achievers. Don't do that. Shubs, don't, Bud, do that. Scourge Done Slick, Rogue Ranger, Otherworldly, and Machine Head, all worth 86. Not yep. 80, oh. not 85. 86. That means it makes you an uneven gamer score. That drives me fucking insane. So do, do not, not play Nightmare Mode. Play Nightmare Mode unless you're going to do all of it. Or yep. you do not care about unevens. I know some people don't, but we do. Oh, if only zeros and fives here, and we know that's not people that f- you know I, what we, the f- you, you guys you know, know what, what I mean. mean. You know what you know I mean. what we mean. You know. Because I get people. I get people all the time. They're like it's five. Not even. Not even. Uh, get out of here. I'm gonna spank you if you say that. You understand me? <laughs> Boy, let me tell you. I'm a little excited. Let me tell you, I'm about to go download this right now. Yes, you are. I'm so excited for you, Alex. This is like your Suikoden. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, no, yeah, this is right. Yeah, this is like your Suikoden. Like, no one, like, there's a lot of people that are happy with you, but there's not that many. Yeah. Same with Suikoden. If Suikoden happened right now, there would be a good bit of people excited, but not that many. It'd just be meany. It'd be like, hell yeah, I got Suikoden. So I'm happy for you, dude. Enjoy. I'm wondering if. I'm wondering if the Quake 2 and Quake 3 Arena on the PC, if they have achievement lists too. I, I has to, yeah. Guaranteed. You can probably it look it up. Like, well, because all it's showing me is Quake Remastered, which is that one. Let me see. Oh, that would be weird. Quake 2 PC achievement list, maybe. That's 2005. Uh, in, that's not right. Yeah, no, well, that's because Quake, Quake, Quake 2 was on the 360. Yeah, yeah, it's not, yeah. I don't see the new one, but while you look that up, I'll cover it. The next one's very quick. Doom Slayer Collection was announced today during QuakeCon, um, and it's coming for the Switch. So that was also leaked uh, this morning as well. Um, and this is also a very quick one. x Right Games and Stunlock Studio devs form Box Dragon, a new studio. Um, it's gonna, they're going to be working on a post-apocalyptic IP, and their first public sponsor is Coffee Stain. Cool. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, but I'm, ex- I'm, I mean, exciting. Yep. And then this is a very quick one. I just want to bring everyone to attention. Embracer Group does have three new acquisitions on their about, which is very staggering. Embracer Group has been buying up lots and lots of studios. So let's go over these. Um, they have purchased uh, Damager Studios, Fractured Byte, and Smartphone Labs smartphone labs and in, um they uh worked with gear but these are yeah people who bought uh, worked for gearbox but they acquired them in a deal worth close to 1.3 billion dollars god jesus so just for some scales embracer group is one of those they're just buying up the whole industry and it's a little scary a little scary it's a little bit just solidation is very scary moving on we have some information on how you're going to transfer your PS4 save to PS5. And guess what? Not easy. To transfer a PS4 save... Eh, okay. Eh, I'm being a little hyperbolic, but it's not simple. Let's say that. To transfer <laughs> a PS4 save to Ghost of Shima Director's Cut on PS5, you must have it in your PS4 storage and select Transfer PS4 Console Save on the menu. We recommend downloading the latest patch first. 
If you are a PS uh, Plus with cloud saves, download locally before transferring. So, to be clear, have the save on your system before you attempt any transfers. Second, if you are a Plus member, download the save onto your... It's so easy. It's so easy. Just take it, just take it from the cloud and bring it to the system. Start up Ghost of Tsushima, do the save transfer, and then just watch the Platinum come to you. That's what I'm going to do. Exactly. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go play go Iki Island. Island of Iki. Yep. And I'm going to go put, hang out with my monkey friend. I'm mm-hmm. going to go stab people. I'm going to go kill a lot of people and be told I'm not a samurai anymore. And I'm going to go, ha ha, shake, shake. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, as mm. we do, we always cover what's coming new to Xbox Game Pass. Let us begin. So, this is as of three days ago, and these are available as of recording. You could be very quick with these, okay? So, mm-hmm. Humankind PC. Neat. I'm skipping these because these are already That's out. That's fine. Need for Speed Heat Cloud EA Play, Star Wars Battlefront 2 for Cloud EA Play, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order for Cloud on EA Play. So, I'll start with this is all the stuff that um, just came out today. Uh, this is all new stuff, so I'm actually going to do uh, re- readouts for these. Recompile, which I've heard good things, Cloud Console, Xbox Series X and S only, and PC. Mm. Idea at Xbox title is already out as of listening to this beautiful podcast. Available with Game Pass on day one, this atmospheric Metroidvania-inspired hacking adventure lets you take control of a semi-sapient program struggling against the Legion. In the sprawling through world of the mainframe, Recompile features intense combat, tight 3D platforming, super-powered abilities, and an environmental logic-based hacking mechanic. Here you go, Alex. Train Sim mm. World 2 Cloud Console and PC. Again, already out as of recording. Drive High Speed German Rail. <laughs> now the times I've said German Rail. Oof. As you push the throttle in a famous DB Ice 3M out of coal, take on the challenge of long freight across Sand Patch Grade using the raw power of the CSX AC4400 CW. The amount of times I've said I've wanted to ride in a CSX AC4400 CW, Alex. First off, that engine purrs like a baby giraffe. Second, it sounds like a mix between a Ford Focus and one of those kind of like the scoopy one. The little scoopy construction one. That one. It sounds like that. A mix between those two engines. And it just purrs. And that little kachunk in the horn, really good too. Master of the World, famous Chunk Slender Underground the on the Beckerloo line. How is any of these things real? Beckerloo? Bakerloo. Nope. They're British. That's how they pronounce it. You better offend so many people. So many people. But we know we oh. love we love the English out there. We used to be one of you. But we had to go. We had to go. We had to go. It's like a breakup. It's like it's a not breakup. You, it's me. It's it wasn't. It it was you though. It was you. <laughs> Sorry. Twelve minutes. <laughs> cloud good. console and PC. ID at Xbox is already out. Very excited for this one. This is yes. available on Game Pass Day One. Twelve minutes is an interactive thriller forever. about a man trapped in a time loop. Find a way to use the knowledge of what's coming to change the outcome and break the loop. Featuring voice acting talents of the beautiful James McAvoy, the also beautiful Dave, uh, Daisy Risley, and arguably even more beautiful than both of them combined, Willem Dafoe. <laughs> Fuck it. Can you, you know, for the, longest, for the longest time, I always thought it was William Dafoe. And I, then I realized, and I was like... See, I would blame you if not. There were some, there's some silly spelling out there. It's some mm-hmm. names. There's some silly spelling. And I, w- I don't blame you for thinking that. Now, am I going to take Willem Dafoe seriously in this game? We're going to have to find out, and I doubt it. I, yeah, I'll be honest, I doubt it. Now watch it be one of those best things yet. Maybe. His best performance. Better than the seminal Green Goblin from Spider-Man 1. My favorite part is when he's crawling towards the Green Goblin mask and saying... Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> he's just screaming at the thing. Yeah, it's so deep. 
Psychonauts 2 is coming cloud console and PC August 25th. This is from Double Fine Productions. Psychonauts 2 will be available day one with Game Pass. Combining quirky missions, a mysterious conspiracy, Psychonauts 2 is a platform adventure game with a cinematic style and tons of customizable psychic powers. Serving up danger, excitement, and laughs in equal measure as players guys Raz on a journey through the minds of friends and foes on a quest to defeat a murderous psychic villain. Xbox and K-Best members can pre-install today to be ready to play on day one, August 25th. Mm. Missed! Cloud Console PC ID at Xbox, August 26th. This is also available day one. Welcome to Mist, the starkly beautiful island, eerily tinged with mystery and surrounded, or so, sorry, and shrouded in intrigue. Explore the deeper connections and uncover a story of ruthless family betrayal. Ooh. And then just as just in case you missed it, I'm only reading these because I heard these games are great. So go try them out. Boyfriend Dungeon. I am also needing to try this out. Library of Ruin. I'm going to download this when I get off of here. I'm going to try that out as well. So many games, man. Yep, so many games. Uh, so there's some D- DLC game updates. I'm only going to read one. Hellblade got a Series X and S optimized upgrade for free mm-hmm. if you have the game. So go enjoy that if you'd like. And then um, then we have... These are the Game Pass Ultimate on the Android on cloud. That has touch controls. There we go. I was confused on what this is. So Hades, Bloodroots, Farming Simulator 19, Going Under, Need for Speed Heat, Peggle 2, Psychonauts, Wasteland 2, 3, and Wasteland 1 Remastered. Uh, Very quickly, Game Pass Ultimate Perks, MLB Show 21, uh, Summer Bundle, Sims 4 Kids, Room Stuff. What the fuck? Split gate extreme <laughs> perk pack. <laughs> this is the le- hack that Sims 4 has, dude. It's ridiculous. I don't know. What does that even mean? What's Leaving the next August- one? Room stuff? <laughs> Leaving August 31st. One day we should just read off all of the Sims packs because it would take us an hour. That's this uh, free God, podcast dude, for us. Ridiculous. Leaving August 31st. This is a reminder if you to want this. to play these games. You have to either A, play them before August 31st if you want to enjoy them on Game Pass at no additional cost, or you pre-buy them and enjoy that 20% discount you do get on Game Pass. So this is just a healthy reminder, if you'd like. This is Blair Witch Cloud Console PC, Double Kick Heroes Cloud Console and PC, NBA 2K21 Cloud Console and PC, Stranger Things 3, the video game Cloud Console and PC. Those are all leaving August 31st. So if you want to save a little bit of money or if you just want to play them before they're gone. You got about 10 more days as of recording. Hmm. Yeah, I need, yeah. I, I've always wanted to try Blur Witch. I just don't know. I did too, but it was one of those things where I heard it wasn't great. And I was like, I don't have time mm. for not good games. So I just, I just gave up. I gave up, Alex. Mm. I'm sorry. Did I let you down? Yes. I'm used to it. The new Xbox stereo headset has been announced. I would show you what it looks like. We normally do achievers. But if you have literally ever seen the Xbox wireless headset, it is the exact same, but with a cable. I will say that again. It is like the exact same, but with a cable. So do with that right. what you will. It, it, again, I think, Alex, you see it, right? Uh, it is the I'm... exact same, but with a cable. Yeah. Yeah, it is sixty dollars, so much cheaper than the hundred dollar version. You can enjoy uh, much of the same things. Of course, it is cabled, but you can still enjoy things like Dolby Atmos and the DTS headphones uh, software. Mm-hmm. It's literally the same price as the original stereo headset. Yep, this is basically replacing that uh, mm-hmm. headset that they used to sell. Yep. Only one date update for you, and it's a quick one. NHL 22 will be coming to PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. I wanted to give this all to the hockey fans out there. I know there's some achievers that enjoy them. This comes out sometime in October. And there was additional news to this as well. On top of all that, they are announcing that they're going to Frostbite, which is, of course, the same engine that uh, EA, first off, owns. Second, is used for FIFA and Madden. So they're also joining the Frostbite engine. Wasn't there a first-person shooter they used that? Yes, yeah, they Was use that for yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. They use Frostbite for Battlefield too. Probably not a good idea to use one engine for everything. Probably not. But they wanted to save money. Was the reason? I was like, what? I guess. You can, you're EA. Strike a deal with an engine maker. I'm sure you'll be fine. Not important. <laughs> Alex, mm. that's the news for the week. 
Now, we end this episode just like we start it. But before we get into that stuff, I did not cover it in the beginning of the show because I wanted to get right into it. Because first off, I enjoy talking with you all. But second, I don't want to bore you with all the plugs. So we keep it for the end for a little more smoother an experience. So one, do you want to help us grow? Thank you so much, for first off, for saying yes. You said no. Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Was it me? I'm it was sorry. Him, wasn't it? He said he he apologized. So now you can say yes. One, you can go over to this very YouTube or podcast service that you're listening to right now and give us either one a five star review if you're on podcast service of your choice, or if you're on YouTube, you can do a plethora of things. You can first off like this video. Thank you so much. Second, you can give us a subscription, which is a free way. All of these are free ways you can help us. Play that algorithm game, because again, all this is algorithm based. <laughs> you can also leave a comment. I read and reply to every single. Again, I re read and reply. So does Alex. Re <laughs> reply to every single YouTube comment on every single video. If you don't believe us, head over to that blue box video that first off, thank you so much for listening to. We've repl we replied to everyone. Free of charge. Now, if you want to financially help us, thank you so much. We one day want to do this full time. You go over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. You look at the tier list, the, uh, determine for yourself which one you'd like to supply us for. If you are not interested in either of those, you could just do a custom amount as well. However much you're comfortable with, make sure you take care of first. And on top of all of that, if you want to uh, get in touch with us, there's a bunch of ways for the show. You can tweet at us, but the easiest way is going on Patreon, giving us any dollar amount, even if it's $1 or 20 It's up to you. That's One. exclusive. DMing straight to us, and you get access to the show. That can be a question, a comment, a concern, a thought, and or idea. That's enough of that for today. I think that was a little too much of the rambling, but thank you for being so patient with me. Alex, I like to end this show like we began it with one question. Yes. Mm. What do you have queued for the week? This could be, of course, a game. A mm, game. So much, it's man. A comic book, a TV show, a movie. What do you have queued? Actually, I have a little bit of everything to be. It's crazy. Name it. 12 minutes. Yes. All the quakes. Yes. Uh, show wise, um, I'm finishing up a show uh, called Manifest. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm actually gonna go start watching Titans season three. Nice. Uh, finishing out the CW shows. I like the Superman show, so I'm finishing mm -hmm. that out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. there's uh, I, f I watch Jungle Cruise. It's pretty good. Oh, cool. I need to yeah, watch. Yeah, it's that. pretty good. Yeah, it's. I'm planning on watching uh, Cruella. I don't know how good that is. Uh, didn't look good, but I wouldn't. I'm not. I'm not one. Like, I, I wasn't. I guess it might be a, a sequel. I heard. Yeah, I heard they're making a yeah. sequel. I, sorry, I heard it. No, I think I'm mixing this with something else because I think I heard it was good. I don't I remember. No I don't remember now. But regardless, whatever thing I heard, I was like, I still want to watch it. So I, mm -hmm. I still want to try it, regardless if and it was bad or good. So. Literally next week. Alien fire team. Uh, for audio listeners, he's holding an alien and moving its mouth and saying alien fire team. For people who don't recognize this or don't know, Elijah got this for my birthday one day. I did. And I, and I love it. I did. I, I'm it's, glad you liked it. It's magnetic. It. Yes, and it, it goes, is. I have this magnetic shelf and it's so awesome. Yep. He just, <laughs> he just thick right into it. Yep. yep. Alien Fire Teams, yes, it is purchased and already downloaded. So we just play yes, that. I'm very excited to try it out. Um, I saw there was a demo class I'm going to be using. So yeah, I have like yep. a machine gun and a, like a little yeah, rocket you've launcher been thing. The from as long as I get a shotgun, I'm I'm good. Give me a shotgun, I'll play anything. Yeah, and as much I mean, and and it's crazy because I love aliens, but I definitely know I'm gonna have, play this game, uh, like like. Not all the time. It's just you know a couple times a week or whatever, or on the weekend. But so like I already know, so I don't know how crazy. I don't know how fun it's gonna be, but I'm definitely excited. Yeah, I'm. I am also. I'm with right there with you. Like, I'm worried it's not gonna be fun. Although it's one of those things where like we can probably make it fun if it isn't. It's like what we did with Predator. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. It's pretty satisfying when you just merc people. Aside from that, after a while, it gets old. Yep. 
for me, I have 12 minutes, mm-hmm. Boyfriend Dungeon, mm-hmm. Library of Runa. I'm going to try that mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. Um, I have Hades. I have... Uh, Quake Des- with me. Sure. Yeah. Well, I'll pretend I play that. Uh, Destiny with, 2... with me, man. Choose, I'll on. play with you. I'll play with you. I'm fucking around. I'll play with you. Destiny you 2... Like Doom. I love Doom. It's a great game. It's about the same. No, it's completely different. <laughs> it's not even made by the same developer. <laughs> uh, it is. Yeah, That's the joke. Like, uh, That's the joke. Yeah, not I the know. same, but basically the same. Um, yep. Tuesday. I got to have all this done by Tuesday because what is that? Have you been listening? It's Destiny 2. So I got to be ready for that. I'm so excited for the new season because... Mm-hmm. It just looks so good. Um, I'll take a peek. I think you'll be interested the about same that you were interested in this season, where you give me a total of four days out of the season ish to be mm-hmm. like, what do we do? And I'm like, follow me. I grab your yep. hand and I run you through the universe, fucking destroying things and punching and, everything. And I, and I had fun. I just too much to play, man. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I get it. I've been I, hard I, I got, I've been in on, the grind. So I, I see you. It. You've been on Destiny's dick. Excuse my French. I've been on Apex's dick. You did. Right? You yeah. have. You've been trying to get that rank up. I tried. I, same thing with yeah. you. I gave you a couple of days, and I was like, "This is. Yeah. This, I can't. <laughs> I can't yeah. with this. This is too <laughs> yeah. much, man. Mm-hmm. Too much. I love it, but it's yeah. it's it's and, and it's dude. And it's certain days. It's certain days. Like literally, I yes, went down dude. like two ranks the other day, and I went and I finally got a win today. I'm like, <gasps> thank God. It's one of those things, man. Like, like you said, it's like if it's just not going, you should just turn it off. If it's mm-hmm. not if it's not working, it's just the wrong time and the wrong day, and you just gotta quit. Mm-hmm. You just gotta be like, I can't. I can't. Not not today. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's the show. That is the show. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for going this deep into the episode. We always appreciate you, whether you watch for 10, 20, or the whole time. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for interacting with the video. That is how you help us grow. And thank you for checking out patreon.com slash Achievers. We're going to get out of there and go play some more video games. But before we go, remember... Gotcha. Alex, you didn't say it. I did say it. You didn't. Yeah, I, I, didn't said, I, whis- I whispered it. You whispered it? Yeah. That was a I good whisper. I, I, if you heard it, like put in the comments if you heard it, because I really didn't hear anything. So yeah, if, no, like, that, that was a really good whisper. If it like, was. Literally, for video, visual audience, I went like this. I literally did the rock thing. I was like, got you. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, you, it probably did come up, and it, I just lost it. Go, Chief. You just F. Yeah, yeah, go, Chief. Go chief. Go chief. Go go. Go chief, I said. Go chief. Go! Achieve! You just broke everybody's ears right there.